Hello dear children, how are you? Do you remember your first chapter? Yes, it is building with bricks. In that chapter, we have seen how bricks are arranged into various patterns. Do you remember that? Yes, very good. Today, we are going to see more patterns in our chapter. Now, I am going to show you few figures. Identify them and classify them as two categories. Did you classify them? Yes. Figure A and C are figures with some patterns in that. What about B and D? They did not have any pattern. True, they are not having a particular pattern. Yes, you are absolutely right. Figures A and C are having some patterns in that, but not in B and D. Is these patterns only for such figures? No, they are possible for numbers as well as alphabets. Let us see some of them. Now, I am going to show you few numbers 4, 5 and 6. They are arranged in some order. Let us observe the pattern in that. Observe the numbers 5, 4, 6. 4 comes after 5 and 6 comes after 4. Now, see the second combination which is 6, 5, 4. Here 5 comes after 6 and 4 comes after 5 just like the first one. Now, the third number 6 comes after 4 and 5 comes after 6. They are taking the position of the next number. Now, can you tell me what will be the fourth pattern? Yes. 5 will come in the position of 4, 6 will come in the position of 5 and 4 will come in the position of 6 which will be 5, 4, 6 just like the first one. Now, I will give you some more patterns. You have to complete it. Okay? Can you identify some patterns in this? Yes, the red color is moving. You observe the first circle. The red color is in the top right portion. Then the second one it comes down. The third one it is in the left side. What will be the fourth one? Can you identify some pattern in this? Yes, it is rotating just like the needles of the clock. What will be the fourth one? Ah, it is going to the top left side and it completes one full rotation. Now, what will be the fifth one? Yes, it comes again to the right side, the top right side. Then the sixth one, just like the second one, it comes down. This completes the entire pattern. Now, I will give one more. This is your task. You have to complete it. Children, we can also make patterns with numbers and alphabets. Let us see some of them. Observe this alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F and G, H, I. If you see each bubble, we have 3, 3 alphabets written together. And what will be the next bubbles? Can you tell me? Yes, if you see the next 3 letters will come in the next bubble. After G, H, I, what will be the next 3 letters? Exactly, J, K, L. Then it comes M, N, O. At last, it will be P, Q, R. Did you understand these patterns? Yes. How did we extend this? Very good. Now, we will see one more similar pattern. If you observe this pattern, it is a combination of numbers and alphabets. First number is 28. Then along with that we have the alphabet Z. If you observe the numbers alone, what can we see? 
yes they are decreasing by 1 first it is 28 then decrease by 1 it is 27 then one more decrease by 1 it is 26 then what will be the next three numbers very good they will be 25 one more decreasing we will get 24 then again if we decrease one from that we will get 23 now let us fill what will be the pattern in alphabets if you see the alphabets are z y and x what can you say from that yes they are in a descending order it has to be x y z right but here it is z y x then which is the alphabet after x actually after x it is y but here after x it will be w because it is w x y z right then after w it comes v then after v it will be u exactly now try this pattern yourself it is only having numbers it is very easy observe them very carefully and do it okay now we are going to see some magic numbers numbers which when arranged in some order will get a magic S let us see that see these stars they are arranged in horizontal as well as vertical order and there are numbers in these stars do you see that yes the numbers are 2 3 7 then 3 4 5 then it comes 1 5 6 what is the speciality if you observe there are numbers from 1 to 7 is that the only speciality no you add up the numbers along the lines if you add 2 plus 3 plus 7 what will you get exactly you are getting 12 now add the numbers along the diagonal which is 2 plus 4 plus 6 what are you getting oh this is also 12 now add 1 plus 4 plus 7 which is the other diagonal this is also 12 oh then let us see the next side 1 plus 5 plus 6 this one is also 12 so this is a magic arrangement of numbers from 1 to 7 so that however we add along this line we are getting the same sum which is 12 now can you make such magic patterns let us try i'll give you a square of these stars let us arrange the numbers from 1 to 9 such that however you add along the line and this horizontal line we will get only the sum 15 let us see how to arrange them observe these squares of stars we have three stars in the horizontal and three stars as vertically arranged total we have nine stars okay now in these nine stars we have to put numbers such that along these lines if we add we should get 15 but there is a small rule these numbers should not repeat suppose if 5 comes in one star then 5 should not come in any other stars only once each number should come did you understand now let us start how to fill this before that let us arrange the numbers from 1 to 9 as sum of three numbers so that we will get 15 now observe how we have added three numbers from 1 to 9 to get 15 it is 1 plus 5 plus 9 we get 15 and 1 plus 6 plus 8 also we get 15 is there any other possible combination no because if we add 1 plus 7 the next number to be added is 7 so 7 comes two times so it is repeating so we are not going to take that number now we will see with 2 we can see with 2 we have 2 plus 4 plus 9 equal to 15 2 plus 5 plus 8 equal to 15 
2 plus 6 plus 7 equal to 15. Any other such combination will lead to repeating of any other numbers. Now, with 3 we have 3 plus 4 plus 8 equal to 15 and 3 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 15. And with 4 we have 4 plus 5 plus 6 equal to 15. With 5 if we try to make we will get any other combination which we have already written. The same thing happens with other numbers. Suppose we take 5, we may get 5 plus 1 plus 9 equal to 15 which is already there. So, we need not write it again. From this combinations we have to choose 3 combination so that we will complete our magic square. First let us keep the first combination itself. Let us keep 1 in the first star, 5 in the second star and 9 in the third star. So, that we will get 1 plus 5 plus 9 is equal to 15. Now, look at this first vertical one. Anyway, we have written 1 in the first star. So, in the second star just below it what should come any other combination of 1. We have already written 1 plus 5 plus 9. So, we cannot use that. Which is the other possible combination? Yes, it is 1 plus 6 plus 8 which also gives you 15. Now, see the horizontal star in the second row. It starts with 6. What are the possible combinations of 6? Yes, 6 plus 7 plus 2 is one combination, 6 plus 5 plus 4 is another combination. But 6 plus 5 plus 4 we cannot use. Why? Because already we have used 5 in one star. So, we will go with 6 plus 7 plus 2. So, 7 we will put in the second star in the second row and 2 we will put in the third star in the second row. So, that we will get 6 plus 7 plus 2 equal to 15. Now, see the second column which is 5, 7. What we should fill in the third star so that we will get 15? Yes, 5 plus 7 is already 12. So, if we add 3 more, we will get 15. So, we will put 3 in that star. Now, observe the third column which is 9 plus 2. Already we have 9 plus 2 equal to 11. So, we need to add only 4 more to get 15. So, we will get 9 plus 2 plus 4 as 15. Now, what about the third row? Is it adding up to give you 15? Yes, 8 plus 3 plus 4 which is 8 plus 3, 11, 11 plus 4, 15. Again, we are going to get all the columns and all the rows filled with numbers so that whenever we add along the line, we are getting 15 as the sum. So, we are able to complete it successfully. Now, we are going to see a magic triangle where we are going to arrange numbers from 1 to 6 to sum up to 10. This is an activity for you. You have to try it yourself. Okay? Now, is it the only possible way to arrange numbers? No, we can also arrange numbers as number towers. Just like the towers which you have seen, the buildings, just like that we will arrange numbers as number towers. Let us see few of them. Observe this number tower carefully and identify the rule used to form this number tower. If you see the bottom row it is 10, 20, 30. Just above that we have 30, 50 and the topmost tower we have 80. Can you identify a pattern from this? Yes, very good. If we add the two numbers at the bottom of the tower, we get just the number above that. Look at these numbers 10 plus 20. What are we going to get? 30 and 30 is above that. Now, look at 20 plus 30. What will we get? 
good we will get 50 50 is just above that now add 30 and 50 we will get 80 which is the topmost number on the tower so this is the pattern which they have used to make this number tower now let us see one more number tower try and complete this tower by the same rule if you see we have given the bottom row to be 5 10 15 and 20 and one more number we have given just above that row which is 25 how did we get 25 yes if you add the number just below that we are getting 25 which is 10 plus 15 now what will be the number left to 25 which is kept empty yes it is 5 plus 10 will get 15 what will be right to 25 15 plus 20 which is 35 the same way if we add 25 plus 15 and 25 plus 35 will get the numbers just above that tower it is your task to fill this number tower try it yourself now we will see some rules in addition observe this addition pattern if you see the addition pattern it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 6 the next one it is 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 9 and the next pattern is 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is equal to 12 can you observe anything in this look at the numbers 1 2 3 they are increasing by 1 right now see the next numbers it is 2 3 4 again they are increasing by 1 the next one it is 3 4 and 5 it is increasing by 1 now observe the sum it is 6 9 12 are they increasing by 1 no here they are increasing by 3 right 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 and 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 can you now guess what will be the next sum yes after 3 it is 4 after 4 it is 5 after 5 it will be 6 so it will be 4 plus 5 plus 6 without adding can you tell me what will be the sum yes if we add 3 to 12 we will get the sum which is 15 are they both equal yes they are 4 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 15 so this pattern is very easy to identify right suppose if we add one more number to that let us see a pattern like that observe the sum carefully and write the next two sums what can you see it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 what will be the sum yes it is equal to 10 what is the next sum it is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is equal to 14 observe the third one it is 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 which is equal to 18 just like the previous pattern this is also increasing by 1 right it is 1 2 3 in the last end and it is 2 3 4 in the coming one then 3 4 5 then 4 5 6 right now see the sum the sum is 10 14 18 are they increasing by 1 no are they increasing by 3 just like the previous one no they are increasing by 4 how many numbers we have added 4 numbers we have added and the sum is increasing by 4 then what will be the next sum can you tell me without adding numbers yes it is 18 plus 4 which is 22 let us check whether we will get 22 or not let us add the sum will be 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 which is exactly 24 see we are getting the pattern right 
Now, can you guess and tell me what will be the next one? Very good, it is 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8, which will be 22 plus 4, which is 26. Now, we will make another pattern of 5 numbers added together, but this is your task, you have to do. Okay? After adding them, can you observe a pattern in that? Tell me whether you can observe a pattern. Now, let us see another combination of pattern. In this, we have to multiply as well as add. Let us see them. Look at this sum. 2 times 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Yes, the same way. Observe the second one. 2 times 2 plus 1. What is 2 times 2? Which is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Very good. Now, let us see the third one. 2 times 3 plus 1. Which is 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. The next one is 2 times 4 plus 1. Which is 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 plus 1 is 9. Can you see any pattern in that? Yes, see the numbers are increasing. 1, 2, 3, 4. See the sum? Sum is 3, 5, 7, 9. The sum is increasing by 2. Can you fill the next two patterns? Yes, the next number after 4 is 5. So, 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11, which is nothing but 9 plus 2, 2 added to the previous sum. The last one will be after 5 it will be 6, which is 2 times 6, 12 and 12 plus 1 is 13, which is nothing but 11 plus 2, exactly. We have decoded this pattern also. Children, do you have secrets? Suppose you want to send a secret message to your friend. What will you do? Yes, you will write it down and send him. But what if somebody else have seen that? Then how will you protect your secret? Yes, there is one way. You should write it in that language which only you and your friend knows. Which is that language? Oh, very unfortunate. We all know those languages, right? Then what we will do? We will make a language. How? Let us see that. First, let us make a language with numbers. You may be thinking, how we will make language with numbers? Mathematics is actually a language with numbers. Do you agree that? Yes. Now, here we are going to make a language with numbers. Let us keep one one number for each letter. For A we will have one, for B we will have two, for C we will have three, like that. So, what will be the number for alphabet Z? Yes, 26. Suppose, I want to write hi, H-A-I. In place of H, I can give the number 8, right? And in place of A, we are giving the number 1. And in place of I, we will give 9. So, what will be H-A-I in the form of numbers? It will be 8, 1, 9. So, if you say 819 to someone, it is nothing but hi. Suppose I receive a message with numbers 8, 5, 12, 12, 15. Then can you help me to decode this message? Come, let us decode it. Yes, 8 is nothing but H. 
5 is E, 12 L, one more 12 is there right. So, it will be L and 15 O. So, the message is H E L L O. Hello. Is it not interesting? Yes, we are making letters into numbers. This method of writing message is called coding. When we represent the letter with something else and send a message, that process is called coding. And when you identify that method and understand the message, this process is called decoding. We can even represent the letters with other numbers also. Suppose I am giving alphabet A with 2, B with 3, this kind of numbering is also possible. Then the coding will be different. Only thing is that the person you are sending the message, he or she should be able to decode it. Now each one of you have to send me a coded message. Will you send me that? Come, let us play a game. I am going to write few words. Each one of you have to decode it. Do not worry, I will tell you the rule. The rule is that each letter is replaced by the next letter. Let us see an example. I am giving you a word D B U. You have to decode it. What is the rule? Yes, each letter is replaced by the next letter. So, if you want to find the actual word, you should find the letter just before the one which I have given you. For example, D B U. What is the letter just before D? Yes, C. Remember C. What is the letter just before B? A. Then can you tell me the letter just before U? Yes, it is T. Then what will be the word? C A T which is cat. So, the word which I have given you D B U is nothing but cat. Now, I am giving you coded words. It is your task to decode them and find the right word. Whoever does it first will be the winner. Shall we play that? Come, let us play. Did you like this class children? What did we learn in this class? Yes, we saw many patterns. Pattern with symbols, pattern involving numbers, pattern involving alphabet, even patterns with numbers and alphabet. Do you remember the magic square? Yes, it was having some rule. We have to fill numbers so that we will get a particular sum. Also, we learned how to send secret messages so that nobody will read that. Will you try such secret messages? Yes, you have to send me one, do not forget that. Okay? So, till next class we meet, bye bye.